Every few years, like clockwork, some misguided executive in Hollywood will blast Google for not doing enough to combat piracy. What they don't realize is, the only reason Hollywood still exists is because of Google. Welcome to The Best Show in the Universe, I'm Maddox. Google does a lot to combat piracy. Some would even say too much. But that doesn't stop people from complaining about their efforts. A few years ago, Sons of Anarchy producer Kurt Sutter penned an op-ed piece in Slate complaining that Google wants to take his content, devalue it, and make it available for criminals to profit from. He criticized Google for being the establishment and cries about how poor Hollywood has to fight hard to hold on to antiquated copyright laws. Then more recently, during a digital keynote, another executive complained that Google was helping fuel piracy websites, to which Google's managing director of Europe, Matt Britton, responded. You are helping to fuel the piracy business, and I'd love to know a little more about what you're doing to um, police that and discourage that, because at the moment you are actually funding the uh, destruction. I, I disagree with the assertion that we're funding pirates. You can go to YouTube and find copies of your content in the movie industry, even if somebody is shot on an iPhone in a cinema, a few minutes of shaky footage. We work particularly within the music industry on search to really try to find those websites with illegal downloads and take them out of the listing. And what we're trying to do is always choke off the money to stop the, the pirates. We have a lot of people working on this and we've made quite a lot of progress in the last four or five years. And Sarah, we'd love to do more with you. Hearing these complaints, you get a sense that the old guard is losing control and they're just uncomfortable with the advent of new forms of media consumption and distribution. The current TV and film business model is dying, with more people than ever cutting the cable and going digital only or forgoing TV altogether. But by attacking Google, Hollywood is going after the wrong target, because if Google goes away, the situation for Hollywood will be much more dire than it already is. The alternative to YouTube isn't going back to the prehistoric business model of cable and satellite TV. People cut the cord in the first place because the service sucks. Instead, what will happen is that other websites will pick up the slack and start serving the content that you're trying so hard to remove from YouTube, and some of those websites won't be as friendly to your bitchy DMCA takedown requests. Google plays by the books because they're one of the largest companies in the world and are under a lot of scrutiny. They have the most aggressive system for capturing and removing or monetizing copyright protected content in the world, and most of it is automated. If YouTube goes away, the alternative might be some video site popping up in Russia, China, or Eastern Europe that replaces it, and those new sites might not give a shit about US copyright laws. As hard as you think it might be to file a complaint on YouTube today, and it's not hard at all, it'll be way harder going through another country to get your unauthorized content removed. Google has made it as easy as possible for Hollywood and the music industry to remove stolen content on their websites. In fact, they're the only ones who seem to have innovated on this front, if the torrent of stolen video content on Facebook is any indication. What's worse is that if YouTube becomes too difficult for creators to publish on, people might start hosting their videos on individual websites instead. It would take the rights holders way more time, energy, and resources to go after every individual website that popped up, whereas today they can simply go to YouTube and file a takedown notice if they find their content stolen. In the 90s, people could easily go to Napster and pirate the music they wanted. And when Napster started to threaten the bottom line of the music industry, the industry tried to litigate their way out of the trouble instead of innovating and creating a service like iTunes that modernized their stupid business model. Litigation didn't work, and the entire music industry suffered because of it. Google is trying to strike a balance between the needs of copyright holders and creators. If Hollywood makes it too hard on YouTube, they may go away, and what comes next may be worse for Hollywood. Google is your ally. Wake up, idiots. Google is the only reason your archaic business model still exists. Either adapt to this new reality, or dig your heels in and suffer like the music industry did. For all of the blustering alarmism in Kurt Sutter's op-ed piece, there's a dark secret that people who work in Hollywood don't want you to know. Almost everyone in Hollywood gets screwed at some point. I have, and it sucks. Hollywood is a town built off the backs of people who work for free. If you want a job writing for a TV show or a movie, for example, you have to write a sample script, no matter how many credits you have or how long you've been in the business. And tens of thousands of writers have to spend months without pay writing these scripts for free every year just for the chance to get a job. And I'm not talking about first-time writers who have to prove they can write. I'm talking about people who have been writing for 40 years or more. Everyone has to work for free in this town, and it sucks. Imagine if you applied for a job and your boss said, why don't you come in and work for a couple of weeks for free, and if we like you, we'll give you a job. Sounds pretty shitty, right? That's because it is. Creators on YouTube don't have to deal with this kind of bullshit anymore, myself included. Frankly, I'm glad that new media is here to stay, and I for one won't miss Hollywood's shitty business model of exploiting people. You can hear the death rattle coming, and that sound is bittersweet. 
If you need me, I'll be headbanging on top of a pile of unpaid scripts and invoices when it finally arrives. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Maddox. If I want to watch good content, I'm going to tune into YouTube and watch my channel.